Welcome to uh, Biology 3153, Physiology of Human Systems, taught by me, Clyde Felix. I'm going to toggle to my picture here so you can see me. Oops, well, that's me. Where's the big one? There's the big one. So this is me resting comfortably at my home. Uh, you can see a little bit of the frog uh, from... Uh, What's the name of the place? Senior Frogs in, in uh, Puerto Rico. I went there for a meeting and brought my wife with me last December, and uh, we had a great time. So uh, when you're getting emails at uh, midnight or 5 a.m., 6 a.m. in the morning for the course, uh, <laughs> that's where I'll be. Now let's come back to the welcome page here. So this uh, is our course website on Blackboard. Uh, it's certainly not your current semester. You can see this was the spring 2013, uh, but that's fine. Um, why don't you first to the the left-hand menu, as I always call it. Uh, it's the course content, I guess, course content menu. Um, alerts and notification page, uh, you see here. Uh, you'll want to um, I'm not sure if you can set these yourself, but uh, I think I have it where you come into the course content page here. Um, but anyway, uh, be sure you check that every now and then. Um, the video you're watching right now will be at this link. Uh, I have another brief uh, video on YouTube uh, that will help you to understand how to do the uh, assessments. Here's a spot to get help. And then this orienting you to click to the learning modules uh, on this. This is uh, mentioning, <coughs> excuse me, uh, Real Player. Uh, of course, once I have all the links on here uh, to YouTube for the videos, you'll have your choice whether to use the UTSA link uh, requiring Real Player or to the YouTube. Uh, I don't have the YouTube links posted yet. Uh, they're all they're all up on YouTube, and I'll I'll get them into the course. Uh, so by the time you're watching this, so hopefully they will be there. Or, uh, anyway, um, what uh, we're instructed to do down here, of course, is to go to learning modules. But let's just go to the syllabus first to have that set up to open in a new window. So you see it here. And I usually just put this semester for the online course. Uh, it may have your semester there, but that's fine. Uh, some information here that you will read. Uh, correspondence will be through the Blackboard mailbox. Okay, that is the course messages here. On uh, yours, I may set it up as internal, in all uppercase uh, course messages here, because when I send announcements, uh, you'll receive those announcements uh, via your email, and that will then uh, link you to my at utsa.edu email, uh, where you can reply. Um, but when I'm there, I'm not thinking about this course. When I'm here, I click on Course Messages, and that's where I focus on this course to help the people here. Uh, so if you send an email there, I may reply and go, oh, please send this to me on Course Messages. Uh, so when I log in there, I can deal with it. Uh, it's just these, I have to compartmentalize my mind, uh, if, you, if you will allow me uh, to do that. Okay. So a uh, kind of a standard uh, syllabus. Uh, prerequisites, I try to keep them updated. If there's anything there that disturbs you, uh, just look in the course catalog. Those are the ones that are real for the university. The textbook is identified here. Uh, I stopped using the, uh, the CD-ROM, and you will not need uh, the internet access, uh, just a copy of the textbook. Uh, I put current edition, but you know, whatever you can get your hands on, whatever you're willing to spend your money on, I guess is the way to, to talk about it. There's seven comprehensive exams. Now that's different from cumulative. Comprehensive just means that whatever was covered uh, up to that point is covered on the exam. And there's no pages or chapters excluded. It's all pages, everything on every page. You're responsible for all of it. Uh, so those will be uh, 10 each, uh, as you can see. Uh, lecture activities uh, and quizzes. Uh, there are no lecture activities since this is online, so it'll be just the quizzes that will count for this, one, one point for each. Online exercises, two, point each, two points each. And online case studies, um, uh, two points each. And then uh, uh, 
uh, you'll be given the Microsoft Excel spreadsheet to track your grades. Um, Blackboard, this version of Blackboard, I haven't had any success with having its accuracy. Um, but anyway, um, uh, I'll, I'll give it a try and maybe it'll be there. But anyway, the, the spreadsheet is what's going to be your, your best friend if we're tracking things. See, the total on the table is 105. Blackboard um, calculator only goes to 100. So anyway, it, I just don't like it and it hasn't been treating me well in the first few semesters of using it. So I'm not going to commit to it at this time, I guess you can tell. Anyway, note here the supplemental lectures 1 through 5. I'll show you these uh, are review material, and uh, you're expected to complete these within the first week of classes. So, otherwise, all the lectures are available on uh, the videos and, of course, uh, learning modules and things like that. Um, there's no extra credit except that that's built in. Um, the, we manage everything very readily with Blackboard, no problems whatsoever. Um, and obviously you got to work hard if you don't do your work and complete all the uh, assignments, excuse me, assessments, um, then uh, there's not much that can be done for you. So the course is laid out, uh, exam one hits pretty quick and then the others will be uh, spread out at regular intervals. You can see we have our columns here, the days. So I'll, I'll have all this transcribed to the calendar on the course as well uh, so you'll be able to track it and follow it there. Uh, so you can see we go through uh, and then the uh, exam 7 is the final exam and it only covers the final uh, lectures from uh, 35, these are the lecture numbers in here, <coughs> 35 to 41. <coughs> so the final is comprehensive over all this information, which is quite a bit of information, uh, but it is not cumulative over the, the full semester, although the cumulative part hits because you can't study reproductive biology without knowing something about the endocrine system to begin with. And so in that sense, uh, there's carryover, but um, it's uh, rehashed in the chapter within the textbook. And that's what these integration uh, chapters in the textbook are, Integrative, integrative Physiology Exercise 1 goes through obviously cardiovascular respiratory and then even has the immune system mentioned in there. Right? So in that way these integrative uh, parts, there's an, uh, obviously there's three of these in a way, straight from the textbook um, and a strict adherence to the textbook in this class. So back to the course then, under the learning modules, you see you have your modules here, uh, review chemistry cells first when you click on it. Uh, I have a nice uh, wide monitor, so I'm not sure uh, how everything will look on your computer screen uh, or your phone or your tab or your, your uh, 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 notebook, uh, laptop. I forget all the names of all these things, but anyway. Um, so you can see the table of contents is over here on the left. You can move it around and things like that. Uh, it goes video lecture and there will be added to this uh, YouTube video. So you'll be able to tell this video lecture link will be to UTSA for real player and then the YouTube one will, will say it's YouTube. Uh, you have um, access to the slide sets as PDFs. You can click here and they'll open in a separate I do it too soon. Click there and it'll open into a separate window giving you the save function and all that stuff so you can get these. Um, the idea, uh, these early lectures, these recordings here are with some prior technology where the resolution isn't so great. You know, so you might have the video window here and then you can't see in the video what I'm pointing at but you can scroll through the slides. Uh, so um, that's one option for those. Let me get back here. Um, and then when you go down through in each learning module, uh, it'll end with the... Uh, I'm going to switch to another one right now. I'll come back to this to demonstrate the, that exercise. So in module one, when you see those, you go through the videos and the lectures. There's the quiz. There's the case study. And here's uh, exam one. And then you go to the next one. There's all the lectures. Exercise two. And then lectures and then uh, case study two and uh, exam two and then 
the muscle physiology is being shown there. This is strange because it's showing the, everything, isn't it? Okay, we're in this folder. I don't know how to read the table of contents here, sorry. In this folder, uh, cell signaling and endocrine system, it goes down to here. And then when you're in the folder or from here, you can navigate to the other ones as well, I guess. Um, don't spend much time in the student view, so uh, <laughs> forgive me for learning as I'm going here. And you can see, you can follow down for the, the second one. Um, exercise 2 and exam 2 and then uh, as you go through all the modules uh, they're built the same so I prefer that you access that you you follow this way you do the work uh, and then uh, get your link to things here uh, now the alternate way of doing this I guess I can come back here uh, is uh, that you can go straight to the assessments uh, I'll probably rearrange this a bit and maybe remove a few things. It's a bit busy. Sorry about that. Uh, assessments shows all of them. So there's all of your exams. The exams are named. That's why I like to allow you access to this link as well so you can see what's coming. Uh, and what I do is I, um, I, I make these available and then leave them available for the entire semester. You'll have just a, a certain number of uh, attempts on these and let me go back to just the first one so um, in week one uh, you're expected to complete all of these videos and exercise one as well as getting started on the endocrinology and so when you click on one of these it'll say click to launch and then it takes you to this window read the instructions it has a time limit of an hour and 50 minutes okay um, I had already started it it'll, I exited it without submitting it and so you can see I have a continue here so that's an important thing you'll be notified when time expires and you may continue or sub submit so you will not be timed out now you'll be closed out at the end of the semester um, but you won't be timed out and you can save and resume later I didn't answer anything but if I'd saved it it'd still be there and the time will, will continue running you just you overshoot it you come back in it's going to be a tremendous amount of time in here um, but you will still have the continue button. Uh, when you do that and you go in from question to question, it's going to prompt you. Be sure you click cancel. So watch the brief video on the assessments to for help with that. Um, and then it allows multiple attempts. So when I go to continue, it's going to take me in and we get some more information here. This window uh, opens and closes. When you see the brief video on uh, assessments, uh, I, I didn't figure this out in there but somebody later told me sent me an email of the class and said click on this thing here and then that's where you can see you can navigate all the questions uh, anyway uh, this test has a limited time so we see that again right uh, allows two attempts so this when you're in here this is when you'll see how many attempts you get for each of these and this is attempt number one uh, I use the highest score in every case so if you perform uh, low on the first one and get a 100 on the second one, only the 100 counts towards your final grade. Uh, it can be saved and resumed later. The timer will continue to run if you leave the test, but it will not time you out. Right? So you might start one of these at the beginning of the semester. At the end of the semester you come in and it's like a million hours in here or whatever. Uh, you can still do it. Just checking to see how much time I've got left. I think uh, so I can leave All right so that's the way you leave and come back I think well let's just take a quick look at the my grades so this is what you'll see under my grades of course I'm in here as the instructor of you but as you complete things you'll see your score on there um, uh, there probably won't be a, a cumulative one and at the end of the semester I'll manually input your letter grade after I've calculated it offline but you will have an MS, uh, MS Excel spreadsheet to track your final grades uh, so I'll, I'll, I'll get that to you okay I think that uh, should keep you uh, oriented toward what to do stick with it a quick look at the calendar sorry um, and I'm gonna have to go this was what? there we are here we are um, getting anxious because I think we might be running out of time but anyway this is the way I'll have it set up the weeks are labeled there I'll